Hey everybody, Yankee here. You know, the other day I got a question that says, what is the weirdest gun available on the market today and why is it the Bond Arms Bullpup? And I thought that question was kind of cool because I agree, it probably is the weirdest gun on the market today. In fact, a lot of people don't seem to understand this gun at all. I get asked quite often, what is that thing? Why is that thing? And what is so special about it? Well, I thought I'd take a few minutes today here and answer that because I have shown this recently in some videos and gotten a lot of questions about it on top of that question we just talked about. As you can see right there, it is called the Bond Arms Bullpup. And a lot of people have asked, well, what makes this gun a bullpup? What's so unique about it? Well, to answer that question, what makes this gun so unique and so cool and makes it a bullpup is the overall design of it. It's kind of a unique design for a pistol here. If you notice, the barrel is set very far back. That allows you to have a longer barrel, but a shorter gun, kind of like how bullpups do, how they allow you to have a full length rifle barrel, but the gun have an overall shorter platform. In fact, if you look at the Bond Arms bullpup next to my SIG P239, their barrel lengths are very similar. There's like two tenths of an inch difference in their barrel length, but look at the overall difference in length of the guns. And that right there is why it's called a bullpup. Now, what makes that possible, you may ask? Well, the answer to that is the magazine. The way this gun is feeding from the magazine and the way the gun itself is designed to feed from the magazine is what makes all the difference. If you remember that old H&K ad where they had the bullets in the magazine backwards, uh, this is very similar to that. Kind of reminds you of that because you look at this with the opening at the front here and you think the bullets would go in this way, but they don't. They go in nose first with the back end of the bullet facing the feeding side. And inside the gun, there's a little mechanism there that instead of pushing the bullet out of the magazine and into the chamber, it actually pulls it backwards and then feeds it in. Instead of the bullet feeding straight up the grip like this and then being pushed out and forward into a chamber, it's feeding straight up the grip here and then being pulled back and fed into the chamber. So the chamber can be much further back. To show a little example of it here, instead of being pushed out this way, like you would normally think, it's actually pulled out backwards, raised, and then pushed into the chamber. The chamber can sit directly over the bullet in the magazine. And that there, the very design of the gun, is what makes it so unique. Now this started off like as a Boberg, but now it is made by Bond Arms, and I think they're actually nicer now that they're made by Bond Arms. The Bobergs had some issues with materials that Bond Arms has solved. So uh, I think it's an even better gun now, and it is, like I said, a very unique gun. It's probably the weirdest gun you can get. It shoots very well. This gun is very easy to handle, handles recoil very well, and it is so small, and it is so cool. And if you use the proper ammo, you have to have a crimped 9mm. They don't always crimp 9mm in other semi-automatic rounds. As long as you use a crimped round, this gun is 100% reliable. The only th round I found that it doesn't feed is uh, the Fort Scott solid copper ammunition, you know, the TUIs. Uh, they don't feed because of the way the bullet is very long and pointy and it catches up on the top of the barrel so it doesn't allow it to feed in properly. But other than that, I've had no problems with this gun. So not only is it unique and weird and very cool and shoots very well, but it's also reliable. So this is actually a very nice little gun. It's not just an oddity. Uh, I think it could take off more if more people understood it. Uh, another thing that's great about this gun is it's innovative. I love seeing innovation in the gun market. It seems like everything that comes out nowadays is just a version of something that's already out. You know, a newer version, got a slightly different grip or a slightly different, you know, uh, trigger or something like that, but not really very different at all. So I love seeing something different like this and I wish more people would uh, catch on to how great this gun is. But to that person that asked me, what is the weirdest little gun that is available on the market today and is still a good gun? Well, it definitely is in my opinion in the Bond Arms Bullpup. And for those of you that didn't understand what it is or why it's called a Bullpup, I hope that there answers your questions. Mm -hmm.